have a number of different payloads here that are already built in. So we have one that's like a Rick roll. And I think what I can do is, so we know that this one works. I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to say, modify the ducky script above to go to, what should we have it do? We already did the Rick roll. Do we want it to just go to a different video? Let's see if it can, let's see if it can handle that. All right. We want a video of a cat instead. So I'm going to basically just drop this in here. You tell it the uh, code above, but then you put the code below. Well, whatever. Let's see if it does anything. All right. So it very confidently supplies this URL. I'm so afraid to go to it. It's going to, it just rickrolled me again. This AI. Didn't care. <laughs> That's great. I love this chat AI. Does it even know what this means? What? So sometimes it'll pretend like it can't supply mm. a URL and then, but it gives me advice on how to mm. find it. Have you tried searching for a cat or funny cat? So that's one thing that's interesting. This model is apparently offline, meaning it can't query the active internet for information. It has to go off of information that was trained into it from before. So imagine that like society has fallen and like, all information has been gone and you have to ask this thing about stuff, but it only knows about things from like before. Very weird. At the same time, an interesting limitation. Can I just regenerate the spots? Just interrogate it harder? No, it can't. All right. It didn't really do anything. So what should we have it do? Change the duck script below to open a net cat backdoor instead. Why not? Oh wait, Mac. OS. Yeah, I, I think another kind of scary implication of all of this is that I already think of like the rubber ducky and similar devices as lowering the bar for what you need to do to hack a system. But now imagine you can go on here and just be like, describe the code. So you wouldn't even have to learn ducky scripts. So I think that lowers the bar even more. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw five and six-year-olds like writing Rickroll scripts using this in the future. Okay, sick. So we told it, hey, instead of doing a instead of doing a rig roll, let's go ahead and do a netcat backdoor. And let's also execute everything that comes in as mm -hmm. slash bin slash bash. So if you give it like command, then it's just gonna go ahead and run them in the terminal. Easy. And it, it describes it fairly accurately as well. It'll execute a bash shell when a connection is made. Yeah, that all seems right. Like this seems to be of course it also keeps a part of the script that we don't really need anymore. This like sets the volume to maximum and kills the terminal. So that's cool. But in general, along with the warning that this could be illegal, um, this did a pretty decent job. So yes, you can take existing code, put it in here and ask it to make revisions or modifications. That's mm -hmm. something that like permutations is totally something that it can help you do when it comes to hacking. Now, is it going to be right? Who knows? Sometimes it's totally wrong. And will it admit to you or know when it's wrong? Mm -hmm. no. no, it will have no idea. It will, it will tell it to you like you're the idiot. Mm -hmm. And then when the code doesn't work, it'll be like, well, who knows? <laughs> you know, like it, it's not very um, responsible with its answer sometimes.